And what's up everybody? This is Reaper and we're playing another episode of Ace Combat 5. Despite the hectic mood among the staff at HQ, the start of the briefing was delayed. But the weary pilots, knowing full well that they must force their exhausted bodies back into the air once the order was given, weren't the slightest bit disturbed by the delay. Hey, what are you writing there? I just can't remember this next phrase. Here, let me see. Hey! The princess couldn't feed the dove that day. She was too sick. May I take a look? Rosgrease. The demon of Rosgrease got her, right? You know the story? The demon from the North Sea. I remember. My grandma used to tell me bedtime stories about it. And every time she did, I'd be too scared to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Ugh. Settle down, people. I knew a little about that famous legend, too. When history witnesses a great change, Raz Grease reveals itself, first as a dark demon. As a demon, it uses its power to rain death upon the land, and then it dies. However, after a period of slumber, Raz Grease returns. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Gentlemen, excuse me, Colonel. This is an absolutely vital mission to us. As the staff advisor sent from Central HQ for this effort, I'd like to explain it myself. The Ocean Army is planning a vast offensive with the ultimate objective of occupying the capital of Yuktabania. If this operation succeeds, it will end the war in very short order. However, the Octobanians have attacked our beachhead with ballistic missiles from the Rim Faxi, a Synfaxi class submersible carrier stationed in the icy waters of Razgris Straits. Fortunately, our ground forces have already completed attack preparations, so despite the missile attack, the offensive began as planned. Nevertheless, we must neutralize the threat of another Rim Faxi missile attack on our ground forces. We have a single chance to stage a successful air attack on the underwater carrier Rim Faxi. Our passive sonar has detected a transport submarine that we believe is headed for the Rimfaxi. We believe the transport sub's mission is to supply the Rimfaxi with missiles. Based on its course and speed, we've calculated its rendezvous time with the Rimfaxi. By amazing coincidence, it is precisely the same time as the zero hour of our ground attack. At this time, the Rimfaxi will have to surface to restock its missiles. At that exact moment, ingress at low altitude to avoid detection, launch a surprise attack, and sink the Rimfaxi. Once surfaced, it only takes the Rimfaxi one minute to rig for an emergency dive. If your approach is detected, you will only have one minute to complete your attack on the Rimfaxi. Alright. Now keep in mind, there won't be any support from Arkbird this time around. This mission rests solely on your shoulders. The entire ground offensive is relying on this first surprise attack, so don't disappoint us. I want you to turn the icy Rosgrease Straits into the enemy's graveyard. All right, here we go. Captain, which plane should I use? So, we're going up in this formation? War Dog, launch. Alright. Pilots, check your plane and prepare for refueling. Yeah. War Dog, stay at low altitude and fly towards the submarine fleet. You are restricted from flying above 1,000 feet. We can't risk having our surprise attack detected. I'm getting chills. This northern sea is where the demon of Rosgrease came from. Rosgrease? 
I was in low altitude. You see that there's a Yo, I'm a- What the fuck? It just put me at the fault speed.
The surprise attack on the Rimfaxi was a success, and the carrier has sunk to the bottom of the Rosgris Straits. The threat from the northern sea has disappeared, and the Ocean forces are on the offensive against Yuktobania. Me? Heavens. The ace pilots who sunk the enemy submarines are right over there. And I'm the person you want to interview now? No, it's not that. It's just that I heard you used to be a fighter pilot yourself. I just fly freight planes for the maintenance crews now. The captain, Captain Bartlett that is, it was time for an old man like me to quit trying to compete with the young guys. Talk about a lack of respect. <laughs> Where did you meet Captain Bartlett? We were both shot down and we bailed out behind enemy lines in the last war. We got through the bullet-ridden battlefield and made it back to the Allied front line. I tell you, it was tough getting the army to believe we were on their side. Shot down? You two? Hey, it was a long time ago. Everyone makes mistakes, right? Oh, no, I didn't mean it that way. Even if you're not flying with those pilots, your age and experience provide a lot of support for all of them. I just wanted to tell you that. I have seen that you really listen to what they say, and you always have helpful suggestions for them. Well, thank you. I think they're all going to need you, now more than ever. I'll do what I can. <laughs> These people, it's like they're walking on a tightrope that could snap at any second. They're going to reach their breaking point sooner or later. Yeah. All right, next mission. Our ground offensive is continuing its fast-paced push into Yuktobanian soil. A POW internment camp was discovered during the offensive, and a team of Marines has attacked and captured the camp. The Marines have secured the camp's radio room, and a flight of helicopters is en route to retrieve the prisoners. Your mission is to provide close air support for this rescue and retrieval operation. The radio room could be retaken by the enemy at any moment. If it is, All right. the enemy will report the attack and the rescue will end in failure. Find and shoot down all enemy aircraft in the local airspace and secure air superiority across the entire area. We're gonna need air or ground. Yeah, we're gonna need the air to air. Yeah. What the hell? Which plane am I going up in, Captain? <laughs> Captain, which plane should I use? We're launching with War Dog Launch. This is Archer. Captain, can you see the POW camp? You think the captain? Uh, I mean. Captain Bartlett, you think he's in there? I bet he is. He's probably busy cussing out all the other POWs and taking charge right now. Right, Nagasay? <sighs> You're not still blaming yourself, are you? Yeah. Fighters, I can hear the roar of your engines approaching. Uh, this is Sea Goblin. Man. I thought if I joined the Marines, I'd get to work on tropical beaches all the time. We've safely recovered the POWs. Guess our copter's not here yet. You're gonna have to babysit them a little bit longer. I'm picking up enemy planes on my radar. Roger. You're that squadron from Sand Island, right? I've heard of you guys. Can't wait to see you do your stuff. Edge engaging. Like, I love the music. That's gonna kick in and... I would say... 10 seconds. Right about now. Still 
Interesting. While well, I have five missiles, the Ukes aren't that stupid. No contact on the control room. They must be slacking off again. It's too far from here. Get someone nearby to check it out. This is Kuplan I. Do the pilots need anything? As many blankets as you can get. Bring some food too. Gwen, how about treating the pilots to the stuff you brought with you? I've taken damage. Okay. They can have a taste of some good whiskey from our motherland. There are four planes left. Oh no, the enemy spotted us. They're heading for the radio room. They found us. A little earlier than we thought, too. Firing 
point. Those POWs will be free in a few minutes. Wait till they're back in their old jobs, being overworked like us. I bet they'll want to get back into that camp. Alright. Don't get us confused with the enemy. We're gonna fire back. Sea Goblin to gunship. We're taking our guests home now. Can you guys rescue her? Roger. Weather conditions are getting worse. We'd better step on it. Landing point confirmed. Roger. Heading in to pick her up. POW rescue operation was a success, and both the Marines and our friends held in the camp were safely recovered. As for Captain K. Nagase, who was attacked and bailed out during the operation, Colonel Perot will issue orders on her behalf. Central Command will be replacing Captain Nagase's plane that was lost in the crash. 
None of the rescued POWs saw Bartlett in the internment camp. Now where could he be, I wonder? Upon more favorable weather conditions, we will carry out a rescue operation for Captain Nagase. That's right. We've all been promoted yet again. You guys are burning through the ranks, you know that? You can thank High Command for it. All right, I... She'd left her book in the crew room. A Blue Dove for the Princess. That was the title of the book she left behind. A favorite book from her childhood. The pages had torn off over the years, and she had been writing down the words that were on those pages, trying to remember every sentence and every verse. I love this book so much, but I only have faint memories of what was inside. I feel like I've grown so far away from everything since then. I remember how she looked when she told me that. I couldn't help wondering, did she choose to crash on purpose? rather than having to take part in the invasion of another country. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, share. See all you guys in the next video. Reaper out.